Hi everyone, it's Stacy. Thank you for coming on this Yoga Leap with me. Welcome to uh, everyone who's been practicing with me for a while now. Welcome to anyone new who is uh, just finding this video for the first time. Um, as you can see, I have my chair all set up and my mat. Um, if you want to practice or generally practice with any other props, such as bolsters, blankets, blocks, go ahead and grab those now. And maybe hit play on your favorite playlist. Um, I don't tend to play music or use props because I'm not sure how all of that translates uh, to your home space and your home practice. So uh, go ahead and do that now and then I'll meet you. Um, I'm going to spend most of the time in the chair today. Um, I will try to offer up some options for the floor, but we're flowing through a warrior series. And so the chair and the floor options don't change that much, um, but I will do my best to, to cue both. So if you're waiting for me to cue a floor option or like a mat option or a chair option, just take a few breaths in a comfortable posture and I will be sure to meet you there. Uh, with that said, I'm going to start seated in the chair and we'll get started with our warm up. Okay, so whether you are um, starting uh, in a chair or on the floor, just find a comfortable seated position uh, with the chair. If you have a back, I don't know what kind of chair everyone's using, you can use the chair back to support yourself a little bit, but we just we don't want to get all slumpy and lazy uh, and even in our warm ups. And then we'll plant our feet firmly on the ground here, root down through the sit bones. And if you're on the floor, same thing, find a comfortable cross-legged position um, and root down through the sit bones so that we all grow up a little bit taller here through the spine. We can roll the shoulders a couple of times. One direction and then the other. And then I'll just maybe just bring the shoulders up to the ears and then let them go. Hands can be on our lap, palms turned down or up, depending on what type of energy you're looking to bring to your practice. So if you're looking to bring in some energy, uh, turning the palms up might, um, might help with that. And if you're looking to bring the energy down, maybe turning the palms down towards your body, towards your thighs or knees, that will help ground you. And then if it's comfortable, we can close the eyes here. If not, maybe just turning the gaze down to the floor, finding a nice um, stable space on the floor to rest your gaze on. And then we'll turn our attention to our breath. Let's just notice the natural flow of the breath. Right away, I notice mine is a bit, um, I feel like I need to take a deep breath. So I'm gonna do that. But I'm just gonna let the breath return to its natural rhythm. We just wanna notice that first and foremost. I know that as soon as you turn your attention to something, it changes things. And just notice where the breath is flowing freely, where it might be getting stuck. Notice if the breath is deep in the belly or a little higher up in the chest and there's no right or wrong answer. We're just noticing right now. Start to deepen the breath, maybe inhale for a count of three or four or five, inhaling and imagine expanding in all directions, even pressing the, um, the back, we'll press into the back of the chair. So we're expanding like a balloon on the inhale. And then on the exhale, everything's gonna draw back in towards the center, towards the core and the spine. So inhale for three or four or five counts, whatever feels best so you can fill up and exhale it out. Still pressing through the feet, grounding through the sit bones, inhale to feel belly, ribs and chest. And exhale, chest, ribs and belly. Just take a few more rounds at your own perfect pace. And while we're taking these nice deep belly breaths, if setting an intention is part of your practice, this would be a good time to do that. An intention is just um, like a little motto, a little mantra um, that you can repeat to yourself throughout the practice. And just like the breath work helps bring you back to the present moment. So it can be anything like I am grounded, I am present, I am here, I am strong. 
Or it can even be something like, I feel a bit vulnerable today. I'm going to take care of. I'm going to listen to my body. So anything that resonates with you today. A couple more rounds here. And then let's open the eyes up if they're closed. Make sure we're seated nice and firmly in the chair or the mat. Take a big inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale the hands through heart center. And then just inhale again. We're just move, adding movement to the breath here. Starting to bring a bit of the arm into it. We're on the arm muscles, the shoulders. Inhale to reach up and exhale exhale <laughs> inhale reach up exhale down through the center line all right just a couple more here let's inhale to reach up let's exhale and draw the hands to our shoulders Take another inhale here, and we're going to exhale and twist over to one side. Now, with our hands on our shoulders, we want to make sure that we're not drawing the shoulder across the body. We're pretending that there's a big, like a broom or a stick here, and we're moving through the torso. On our exhale here, inhale through center, and then exhale other side. So twist through the core. Don't let the arm come across the body. Twist through the core, feel those core muscles working and engaging. Inhale through center, exhale. So do a couple rounds like this. Inhaling through center, one more each side. And then we'll inhale through center, Exhale, release the hands, roll the shoulders a couple of times. Let's just do a little bit of side bending. So we'll sweep the arms up one more time. If you're on the floor, let the left hand draw down or find the floor. If you're on the chair, maybe uh, reaching towards the underside of the chair, depending on what type of chair you're in. Maybe you can also reach to the uh, chair cushion again. And then we're going to inhale and then exhale, find a side bend over towards the left. So our hand is supporting us either on the mat or holding on to the chair. Stay rooted down through the sit bones, especially if you're in the chair. If you lean too far forward, you could fall. Uh, so if you lean too far to the side, you might tip over. Think about rolling that top shoulder open, creating a nice stretch down the side body here. Good. Let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, let the right hand drop down, find the floor or the chair. Inhale, one more time to reach up. Exhale, over, root down through the sit bones, especially that left one, and create a nice big stretch here. Roll the shoulder open. Big side stretch. Inhale through center. Exhale, draw the hands down through center. Now, if you're seated, you can stay seated and do a seated cat-cow, or if you want to flip over to all fours, finding your tabletop position, and you can flow through a bit of cat-cow that way. If you're in the chair, we're just going to continue seated here. Option to have the hands on the knees and help us um, lift the chest up towards the ceiling. Find a bit of an extension in the back. Don't just crank the back. Lifting up and open towards the ceiling, filling the belly as we inhale. If you're on the floor, drop the belly towards the floor. Exhale, use the hands to help press the, um, the backside away from us, splaying the shoulder blades. If you're on the floor, rolling through cat cow, press the back up towards the ceiling, and then come back through cow. Inhale and exhale. Inhaling. Open the heart space up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round, press into the knees as you splay the shoulder blades. So create a rounding through that upper back. And then inhale, a couple more times at your own pace. Press that air out last time. 
come to neutral spine, resettle. Option on the floor here is to, from your tabletop position, lift opposite hand and leg, and then draw the elbow towards each, towards the knee underneath the body. In the chair, it looks like this. We're gonna inhale, reach right arm, left leg up. Exhale, draw the knee towards the elbow. So feel the hip flexors, the core, help lift the knee. Don't just lean down towards the knee. Draw both in towards center, underneath the core. And that's the same on the floor. And then inhale and release. We'll switch sides. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, draw that knee up and connect the elbow across the body to the opposite knee. Inhale to reach. Exhale, lower. So keep flowing in the chair, on the floor. Same movement. We're just going to look like this. Inhale to reach. Exhale, round through the spine. Draw knee to shoulder. Excuse me, to elbow. And then inhale, reach. Switch sides. So wherever we are, let's do a couple more rounds. Inhale. Exhale. Round through the spine. Connect elbow and knee. Inhale to reach. Lower down. I'm coming back to join you in the chair here. Continuing, I'm not sure what side everyone's on. We'll do one more here. No rush, big inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Release. Okay, if you're on the mat, find child's pose. If you're in the chair, option two, step the feet a little wider. Fold forward. Let everything just relax down and shake the head. Yes, no, if you're in this forward fold. If you're in child's pose, lift the forehead, walk the hands across the mat and try to find a nice side stretch again. If you're in the chair here, lift up halfway. We're gonna connect elbow to knee on the left and we're just gonna open up in the chair, reaching the right arm up. So it's a bit of a twist and a side stretch in the chair this way. If you're in child's pose, reaching the hands off the mat, hips are heavy and even, side stretch. All right, let's come back through center. So walk the hands through the center of the mat and then all the way over to the other side if you're in child's pose, if you're in the chair, connect your right elbow uh, to the right knee and press open, finding that side stretch in the chair. Couple deep breaths here. Hips are even in the chair. Hips are even in your child's pose. And then come back through center. Good. Let's come on up. Let's make our way to standing. Now, if you're on the floor, you can make your way up to standing any way that feels comfortable. You can just stand up, or if you want to flow through a downward dog and up to standing in your mountain pose, by all means, go ahead and do that. It'll just add a little bit of warmth and movement to your practice, and there's nothing wrong with that. We're in the chair. We're going to start moving through our warrior series. So um, I will demonstrate the chair and the floor options, but really the chair and the floor options aren't much different, except that the chair is giving a little bit of support to the sort of front working leg in some of these postures. So here's our, uh, we're going to start with our warrior one. So in the chair, well, let me do the standing. If you're standing, you'll be facing the front of your mat and we're going to step the left foot back, right foot forward, coming into a bent leg and the back toes and heel are down on the floor. The toes are on a bit of an angle, and then we all want to try and turn the hips forward. So you may need to adjust the stance a bit, turn the hips forward. The hips are facing the front of the mat here. And in all of our warrior series today, options for arms can be straight up above. They can be in cactus arms like this. They can be holding onto the shoulders like we did at the beginning of class, or just hands at heart center. So what, however we want to, um, Make sure we're treating our arms and shoulders with the respect they need and that we're not causing any pain. And we can always change our mind at any point. If we're holding on to something, we want to change our arm posture at any time we can. So our warrior one, choosing the arms, we're going to reach up. We're finding our cactus or any arm variation. We're rooting down through the hips. We're going to tilt the pelvis 
to make sure we're trying to create a stretch and engagement in the core here. Warrior one rooting down through both feet. For in the chair, it doesn't look much different. We're turned sideways in the chair, stepping our left foot back, right foot forward, hips as square out off as we can get them, and then finding our arm variation in the chair as well. Reaching straight up, we're gonna stay for a few rounds of breath. This is our warrior one. Keep reaching, maybe your hands are in cactus, maybe they're at heart center. Stay for two more breaths. Just holding these postures a little bit longer to find out where we can make adjustments. Are we tilting the tailbone? Are we rooting down through the front foot? Are we pressing into the hands or reaching up to the ceiling? One more breath. Now we're gonna all take a breath. We're gonna sweep the arms up if they're not already there. On our exhale, we'll reach around and see if we can clasp our knuckles, shoot the knuckles out towards the back leg, the mat, the wall behind you. Take another inhale here. Choose to stay lifted if we like, if we're nice and happy here in this open posture, warrior one. Or on the exhale, start to fold forward, finding our humble warrior. We may or may not find it a little more difficult to get the depth if we're seated in the chair, that's okay. Keep energizing through the uh, arms, keep energizing and pressing down through both feet. If we're standing, we may find we can get a little bit lower, the arms may reach up towards the ceiling. And if we're in the chair, we might be lifted or lower this way. All the options are great. Keep breathing for a couple more rounds. And then on the next inhale, let's inhale all the way back up. Release the hands, continue to inhale. Exhale, open up the arms. Good, let's sweep those again. Inhale. Open it up through the arms and the heart center. And then one more. Inhale. Open up. All right, last one. Inhale. This time we're going to switch and we're going to open up to our warrior two. So we're going to open up the arms and turn to face the front of the room. Now we'll need to make a few adjustments. Our arms are reaching straight out to the sides. We're trying to turn the hips and the torso, so we may need to pick ourselves up, especially if we've got the chair there in our way supporting us. Whoops. We still have a bend in the front leg. Back leg is uh, still reaching out, but we're maybe opening up the toes so they face forward rather than on the angle. Our arms are stretching out to the side, and we've stacked our hips and shoulders all in a nice line. So in the chair, this is the option, pointing um, looking off the fingers of the front leg. If we're not in the chair, option looks the same. Make the adjustments to the stance. You may want to widen it or make it more narrow from warrior one. Make sure the hips are aligned underneath the shoulders. Energize through the fingers, reaching this way and this way, but not the torso. We want to stay nice and grounded and present in our warrior two. Root down through the feet this way. Energy out the fingers this way. And remember, if you're in the chair, basically is the same with a little bit of support underneath the leg and hip for the warrior two in the chair. A couple more breaths. All right, let's reverse the warrior. So we're gonna flip the front hand up as we inhale and then exhale, reverse our warrior all the way back. Now option, I know this front leg, especially if you're standing, has been working hard, option, is to straighten up through the leg. Give yourself a little break there. Otherwise, still bent in the front leg, reverse warrior. Couple more breaths, keep reaching. On the inhale, come on back up through warrior two. Let's reach forward if the leg is straight in the front, bend it so that we can come into our side angle. We may want to rest the elbow on the knee. We don't want to slump into our uh, side here. We want to make sure we're using our core strength to spin the ribs underneath and stay nice and open. Top arm reaches up 
or alongside the ear. If you're on the floor, looks the same, looks like this. We're not dumping, we're opening up. Energize through both legs, energize through the arms. Couple more breaths. Maybe you're looking under the armpit here. Maybe you're even in a bind by taking the hands underneath the legs. I'm not there today. I'm not there most days. <laughs> Still a nice big open stretch though. On our next inhale, we're gonna inhale back up through warrior two and release the arms, release through the leg. If we're standing, turn both toes forward, find a nice forward fold. If we're in the chair, we'll just adjust our seat in the chair coming around to the front and also step the feet wide and find a forward fold. So we're all gonna fold forward. Arms might come down to the floor or a block. Maybe you wanna grab onto opposite elbows and dangle for a little bit. Just find a nice relaxing couple of breaths here. Breathe into the backside body, breathe into the legs. And we'll make our way up. If you're holding on to elbows, release, engage through the core, and help hinge all the way back up to standing or seated. And we're going to do that whole sequence on the other side. So if we're in our chair, we're going to turn so we can get into our warrior one. I think I need a little bit more room here. And now our left leg is going to be supported by the chair and our left hip. And we're going to step the right leg back, find that angle for the toes, and then try to turn the hips uh, to face the front, to face that front leg. And then of course, inhale to find our warrior one arms. Any variation is great. Tilt the pelvis under, feel a little bit of an opening through the hip flexor and a little bit of engagement through the core. Warrior one is a big, strong posture. All the warrior postures are, hence the name warriors. <laughs> find a few breaths, engage through belly, root down through the feet. Remember, at any time we can change our arm variation if we want. Keep it nice and engaged and strong. If your hands are at heart center, press into the hands together. Couple more breaths here. On the next inhale, let's release the hands and sweep them up if they're not already there. And on our exhale, we'll sweep them behind us. Let's clasp the knuckles again, maybe crossing the wrong finger, the one that feels wrong on top. So make it feel weird. Reach the knuckles back if we can. Either straight down the leg, out towards the wall behind us, still engaged through the core, stay lifted, or finding humble warrior. Arms are active, feet are active, core is active, breath is smooth. Finding our humble warrior. Finding a couple more breaths here. On the next inhale, let's come all the way back up. Use those knuckles to pull you back up. Release the arms up towards the ceiling. And if we, I'm just showing the standing version, sorry. Reach the arms up. And then we're gonna just open up through the heart space. Inhale again. Open up, exhale. Inhale, circle those arms. Exhale, open up. Let's inhale, reach the arms up. This time when we open up, we're gonna turn and find our warrior two. So on the floor, turn the torso and the hips towards the side, the long edge of the mat. Adjust the back foot and the stance if need be. Reach the arms long, stack shoulders and hips, gaze off front fingers. In the chair, same thing, we're opening up to our warrior two, making whatever adjustments we need here. If we find we're leaning too far forward or back, bring the torso, stack it over the hips. Reach energy through the fingers to the side walls, press down through the feet. Engage through the core, roll the shoulders down the back and breathe. I know that front leg's working hard, especially if you're standing on the mat. We've got one more breath here. This time take an inhale, reach forward as we flip the palm up and then exhale back. 
into our sun warrior an option in the um, on the floor to straighten the leg if you need a little break take that break stay nice and open through the side body here creating a nice big breath Take another full cycle of breath here, and then if you're standing with a straight leg, prepare to bend into the leg. On the inhale, come back up through warrior two, maybe sink into that front leg to bend it. Reach the elbow forward so it finds the front knee, and we're into our side angle. Arm reaches up, we're alongside the ear, we're not dumping into the side. We're using the core strength to spin those left ribs under, maybe even looking up towards the ceiling under the arm. Maybe finding a bind if that's in your practice. Legs are strong, nothing's flopping. Energize through the feet, energy through the hands and the core. Couple more breaths here. Let's take a big inhale to come all the way back up through warrior two, release the hands, pivot the feet so we can come into another forward fold. I'm in the chair still, I'm gonna forward fold here and I'm gonna let the head fall down. I'm gonna reach down for opposite elbows, maybe crossing the opposite way. Breathe into backside body. Shake the head yes and no. And then when we're ready, let's release the elbows, bring hands to knees, engage through core, and we'll hinge all the way back up to standing or seated in our chair. Okay, so we're gonna flow through, um, we're gonna give warrior three a try. So a, a seated chair option for warrior three is to work on our balance and core strength. So similar to the warm up, option is to root down through the chair, through the sit bones, and lift one leg and one or both arms. Right away, you'll have to feel the core work to keep you stabilized and to work on your balance, even in a chair. So this would be a, an option for warrior three seated in the chair. And then we'll go to the other side. Option for warrior three standing and using the chair, we can use it as support, um, either uh, um, just having it there if we want, or using the chair as support as well. We're gonna try and uh, hinge forward. So just, uh, your, the chair will be at the side of you, and then we'll use the chair for support as we hinge forward into a warrior three. Or no chair at all, let's give it a go. Okay, so we know the seated option, go ahead and root down, find that um, energy, find that balance and that calm breath, maybe taking a few breaths here, coming back to your mantra, your motto, if you set one for yourself. If not, just finding a few breaths. And then if we're um, standing, let's transfer the weight into the right foot and we're gonna step the left foot out behind us. The left hand might be at our hip. Maybe our hands are at our heart center. Maybe we wanna have the hands out to the side, find airplane arms. Any option to help us find balance is uh, great. So we're rooting down to that right foot. Left foot kicks out. Maybe we lift the toes off the mat. Maybe we're feeling nice and strong and we start to hinge forward regardless of where our arms are. Maybe we want to actually have the arms cantilever a little bit. I'm, too, I'm going to hit the wall here. <laughs> As we uh, find our warrior three full expression, arms reaching forward, um, ears near biceps. Maybe we've chosen airplane arms. Maybe our hands are on our hips or at heart center. So any option, and we're gonna hold here for three full rounds of breath. Keep trying to think about tipping this hip down towards the mat. We're not open in warrior three. Our hip is reaching down towards the mat. And we're trying to find a nice flat plane of energy, energy through the heel, energy through the arms, wherever they are. Two more breaths. Energizing through that back leg for balance. One more breath. 
and then just with as much control as we can, let's come on out of it, step down, shake it out. All right, I'll just switch the chair around here so that we can go to the other side. So again, chair is optional. You could be seated, reaching opposite hand, opposite foot into the air, just like the warm up. Oopsie. <laughs> Let's take a few breaths to recenter ourselves after that pretty intense warrior three. Roll the shoulders, a couple of breaths here. And then if we're standing, we'll switch the weight into the left foot this time. Right foot comes out behind us, squaring the hips, hands on hips, hands at heart, hands wherever you think you might feel balanced as we start to cantilever, so hingy from the hips. We're not just um, folding forward, we're connected by a long line of energy here and we're hinging at the hips here. Trying to lift that back leg, energize through that back leg, finding our warrior three on this side. Remember to not open the hip, draw it down towards the floor, press into the floor with the standing arm, the uh, foot, sorry. And we're gonna stay for three breaths. Energize through the standing foot, energize through the back foot. Oops, stay where you are, I lost my balance there. Two more breaths, hip reaching down towards the floor. Engage that back leg, one more breath. And then let's try to come out of that warrior, stepping down and just step the feet wide, coat tail, empty coat tails, coat sleeves, whatever this one's called. If you're in the chair, just a nice, easy breath here. Maybe a few arm circles, shake out the legs. All right, I'm gonna get back into my chair here. Ooh, that warrior three. Let's stretch out those hips. We've done a lot of work, a lot of work in the um, leg muscles today. So let's come into either um, a standing, no, I should have stayed standing, a standing uh, figure four, or of course, a seated figure four. So let's take our right foot, flex it and cross it over the left knee. Let that right knee fall open, creating a nice open space here. Depending on whether you're um, standing or seated or even lying down on the ground, this might open up a bit more. And you may want to start to um, sit back a little bit or fold forward, whether you're standing or seated to increase a bit of stretch in the hips. I'm supporting myself on my legs here, but I'm not just dumping into it. I'm still using a bit of core strength so that I'm hinging forward with a long spine for a couple of breaths. And then option, of course, is to round down and fold all the way down, even reaching towards the floor or the blocks if you're using blocks. We're going to stay for three big juicy breaths here. And then let's come on up. If you're on the floor, maybe take a little break, but we're now we're going to Cross in even tighter. If you're on your back, same thing. Just cross the legs in even tighter and reach for the ankles and draw them towards you. In the chair here, we're going to come into a bit of twist. We're just going to sort of lengthen the, the stretch here. We're going to move the stretch a little bit from the, from the hips and glutes to the side of the leg. Let's take an inhale here. Cross that right, uh, sorry, left hand over right knee. You can use the chair to help guide you or the floor, depending on how you are. And if you're standing, um, you can just cross the legs in and sink back and find your eagle legs and increase the stretch by sinking deeper. And we're gonna stay for a couple of breaths here. Keep squeezing the legs together, feeling a nice stretch down the whole outer leg. Come around to the front, uncross our legs, give them a little shake, and then we'll go to the other side. So find your balance if you're standing, switch legs if you're seated or lying down. We'll cross the left leg over right, open up that left knee, finding the amount of stretch and sensation we're looking for in this uh, hip and this side. It might be different. We might want to go a little further or not as far. 
that's okay. Our sides are different. We just want to make sure we give them the same amount of love. <laughs> so finding a bit of a forward fold or sinking into the support leg if you're standing. Maybe even rounding down over the leg, reaching the arms down to the floor or block. That's a really strong balance challenge if you're choosing the standing option. <laughs> And it's quite intense on the hip to fold that forward when you're standing or when you're seated <laughs> even. Stay for a few more breaths. And then let's come on up and we'll Cross the legs in even tighter again. Inhale, cross right arm across the body. Use the chair or the floor to help engage and twist a little deeper as you sort of gently press into the leg, creating a bit of stretch. We want to yank ourselves around. We're just looking to squeeze the legs, press the legs, and create a bit more stretch down the side. A bit of sensation there. One more big round of breath here. And then let's unwind, come around through center and shake out the legs. All right, if you are standing, make your way down to the floor. We'll do a couple stretches on the floor. I'm gonna stay in the chair for this last bit. Once you get down to the floor, go ahead and find a butterfly uh, posture. If you're in the chair here, uh, butterfly, you can either just, we're just finding an inner thigh stretch. You can step the feet wide. Maybe you can draw the feet together and hinge forward, depending on what type of chair you're in, how your body feels. For me, the chair I have, and to get the best inner thigh stretch, I'm just going to do a wide leg forward fold again. I know we've done a few of these. That's okay. And then we'll come on up and if you're on the floor, draw the knees together, bring the hands behind and press up into a reverse tabletop. If you're in the chair, I'll just show the option for that. One option is doing cat cow breaths like at the beginning of class. Another option is like I said, step the feet together, depending on the type of chair you have, bringing the hands behind you, pressing into the hands and feet and lifting the hips up, opening up for a reverse tabletop. Spend a few breaths here or in cat-cow, opening up and then rounding through the spine. Squeeze the bum if you're in the reverse tabletop for one more full cycle. Inhale again, and then exhale, lower down, find your support, come up to standing. Awesome. All right, let's make our way down to our backs if we're going to be finishing our um, flow and our shavasana on our backs roll on down when you get down you can curl into a little ball rock side to side if you're in the chair with me option is to lift one knee up give it a little squeeze you can even round down towards the knee and then switch sides we'll do a couple rounds of this And nearing these last few minutes of class, if there is any other posture your bodies are craving, go ahead and find a few minutes now. Maybe if you're on your back, you want to just gently lift the legs up towards the ceiling. For gentle legs up the wall. Maybe you want to come into a bridge or wheel. So a few more moments of honoring your body's requests and then we'll start to settle in for Shavasana. So same thing, just like at the beginning of class, if you're in a chair with a bit of a back, you can use the chair back for some support, but we just don't wanna you know, slump in. We're not trying to go to sleep. We're trying to find mindful rest so that we can sort of also check in with our bodies after the class and maybe even Notice how different it may feel. They might not feel any different, might feel worse, might feel better. It's all okay. We just want to do a check-in. So let's find our high.
comfortable positions, either lying on the floor, seated in a comfortable position on the mat, or in your chair. We'll draw our hands down by our sides or into our lap. And again, option to have palms turned down or up. And option to close the eyes or just find a soft gaze. Take a few deep breaths and just notice if there are any areas in your body you're still holding on to any tension, see if you can let it go. I'm noticing my shoulders are up around my ears. I'm going to try and let that go. I'm going to soften through the belly a little bit, but still root down through the hips, through the sit bones. Shavasana is the time for our physical and energetic bodies to absorb all that good work we just did and turn it into something magical, like warrior energy. It's a time for integration and rest. And know that rest is different from sleep and that we need both every day. We should never pass up an opportunity to just rest and do nothing. The beauty of practicing through the lens is if you want or need to stay in Shavasana for any um, amount of time, go ahead and let the video play out or press pause now and stay exactly as you are. And if you're ready to invite a bit of movement back to your body and get on with your day or evening, start to wiggle your fingers and toes, maybe even circle the wrists and ankles. You can choose to stretch along along your mat or curl into a little bow one last time just before making your way to a comfortable seated position if you're not already there. And when we get there, let's all take a breath together. Inhale, sweep the hands up overhead. Exhale, draw the hands through heart center. The hands can rest at prayer, rest just over the heart or bring them back down to your thighs or lap, whatever feels best for you. I want to thank you so much for allowing me into your personal private yoga practice spaces and for allowing me to be your guide this week. I hope that you enjoyed this somewhat energizing warrior series and I hope you uh, take that energy and use it uh, exactly how you need to uh, for the rest of your day and week ahead. Until next week, take care. See you then. Thanks everyone. Like I said, I hope that was sort of a fun, invigorating warrior flow for you. Have a great week. Take care.